So following on from the Timwell debate last night, which uh, seemed to be going uh, nowhere fast, even the Chief Minister was saying that it was time for this to be put to one side, looked at again. Uh, Jack, you must be quite pleased with what you managed to uh, appear to achieve last night. We were quite pleased. We were a bit annoyed that the uh, vote was uh, delayed because uh, we thought there was a chance that we were going to have the votes, and assumingly the government thought that we had the chance to uh, have the votes. But yeah, it's just another occasion on which uh, the government had admitted that it was wrong. Uh, or at least it was wrong by the standards of the Tinwald. Uh, you'll remember that the plans that were unpalatable, that were palatable a week ago, are now considered by the Education Department to be impalatable. Uh, and before that, those plans were considered to be palatable, and then they were impalatable. And hopefully that will happen again. Uh, obviously the final aim is trying to stop this sort of feed legislation. Uh, but as I said, it's all up in the air for now. How has it been with Mr Crookle? Because, I mean, this is the man who's trying to put through this policy. Have you had a chance to sit down with him and discuss it? We haven't, no. We've said in public, and we would quite uh, like the idea of uh, speaking to members of the Department of Education just to put forward, in a more calm, uh, more quiet context, and in a more personal context, uh, what our grievances are. Uh, but no, um, I don't think they like us, if I'm honest. Um, I, I mean, I've heard it, some, some of you guys are trying to get hold of him and he's not returning your calls or not getting these calls. I don't know. what is that, is that what you've been finding? Well, we have been trying to email him and we have been saying on uh, uh, Manx Radio and the like, mm. uh, if you want to meet with us, you can. Uh, but we've had no sort of reply. Uh, I don't think they take us particularly seriously in that regard. But I think they should because, as we've shown, we've been able to have some sort of influence. It's impossible to say how much. Uh, on the Tinwood. What's next? Uh, we continue to do the same sort of organisation that we've been doing for uh, quite a while now. We uh, continue to uh, have what was quite encouraging in the last protest, which was a diversification in the leadership of uh, our sort of uh, 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 movement amongst the schools, whereas before it was quite sending as heavy. Now I think probably uh, at least more than half of the people who were down at the protest yesterday were not from St uh, Ninians. They mm -hmm. were from King William, so they were from uh, Balacamino, they were from Ramsey. Mm -hmm. and they were from the college, it should also be mentioned. Hopefully we'll be able to contact with institutions like the college, which we hadn't before, and also get into contact uh, with professionals who we wanted to get into contact with before this protest, uh, but didn't have the chance to. Have you had any pressure from inside your school? I mean, they, they sort of threaten now, if they can't make these cuts, they're going to have to take other education cuts. Does that put pressure on you, from you know, your teachers? No, all our teachers have been uh, completely neutral, and they've made sure to be completely neutral. They've neither dissuaded us nor encouraged us. So... Watch this space or wait for the next list of um, what they're going to do? Is that what you're going to do? Watch this space, I'm afraid to say, yeah. It's all up in the air. And I mean, you, I couldn't have told you yesterday morning how the uh, vote was going to go. And nobody, uh, well, few people predicted it was going to be deferred again. Uh, they thought that one was enough and it looked embarrassing to have been it twice. So for all we know, it could happen thrice. For all we know, it could go off to a committee. For all we know, we could win. For all we know, we could lose.